In this episode, we'll be talking about the cultural and archaeological history of Milos. We're starting off here on top of what used to be the Venetian castle or fortress, where there's a beautiful view of the island almost coast to coast all around. From the chapel toward the coastline, we can actually see the ruins of ancient Milos, an old citadel. As we look a little further over, there's a small mountain hilltop with a church called the Holy Chapel of the Prophet Elias. And there were quite a few archaeological finds there that were important enough to go into the Archaeology Museum in Athens. Just below that hill, we'll see the ancient theater of Milos and also the catacombs. The island of Milos has been inhabited since Stone Age times. In fact, a lot of obsidian trade went on here and spread as far as Egypt. There are also early Greek civilizations like the Minoans that were here for thousands of years before the Mycenaeans came in and took over. This is a good example uh, right here of the juxtaposition of those times. Uh, we have some marble from a classical Greek temple that is sitting here on top of the hill overlooking the ancient citadel of Milos. And right behind you is actually a more, say, modern chapel uh, that would have been built several hundred years ago to the prophet Elias. If you look over the side of the hill, you can see the actual Roman theater um, from the Roman period on this island, uh, early Roman period, first to fourth century AD. And if you look, could look right over that hill, you would see the entrance to the catacombs, which go up to the sixth century AD, where Roman Christians were buried. Of course, after Roman times, there were many other people that came through and took power on Milos. Just to mention a few, we have the Venetians, and we can see actually on top of the hill up here, uh, there's a chapel that is on top of the Venetian castle. After the Venetians, the Turks came through. After that, we have more modern civilizations. Um, the French used this in World War I. The Germans took over in World War II, all the way up until modern times of Milos. And this is actually an example of a Romanized theater. It was built during the Roman period between the first and fourth centuries AD. I'm standing in the orchestra part where originally the Greek chorus would perform and behind me is the skene. Um, you can still see a little bit of the pediments that are left. Uh, they would have been about two stories tall. Obviously this theater has been restored. It is actually used for modern performances and what an incredible view you would have from here. This is the best preserved ancient theater in the Cyclades. On the way down to the catacombs from the ancient theater, you can see part of the fortifications from the ancient citadel of Milos, which was inhabited from about seven 7th century BC until about the 8th or 9th century AD. Mm -hmm. 
We are visiting the catacombs below ancient Milos. These were built sometime between the 1st and 4th century AD during the Roman period and they were used for Christian burial. This whole place was carved in this softer volcanic stone and you can see the different grave sites here. Thanks for exploring the history and culture of Milos with us. If you like this video, let us know and hit that like button. If you'd like to see more of our adventures here on this picture postcard perfect island, hit the subscribe button. Have a great day. Thanks.